Okay, man. Welcome to the weird world of David's tables. His mystery tables. Okay. Tell me about this uh, diver table. So this one, obviously you got your diver flag in the middle. That's the flag they put out the back of the boat when divers are down. And then the uh, client wanted an eagle stick or an eagle ray, which is his favorite thing to see when he goes diving. So I made that the, uh, uh, the uh, little crest in the front. It's made out of African mahogany. It's got the red mahogany stain on it. And you can see that really makes that wood pop. Um, I'll just show you how to get into it. Ooh, so first of all, there's a little lever under here. You see the little lever. Can you see the little lever? Yes. Okay, so you push that little lever. That makes the wing pop up. Now if you turn the whole thing, because obviously when this wing is down there, you can't turn it. You know, basically, so you can turn it. When you take that wing out, you can turn it, and get to the keyhole. Keyhole, unlock it really quick. Put it back, put the wing back in halfway. Turn the wing, that pops that open. Um, I've had a lot of people mention that they don't want a table that takes 20 minutes to get into. Which I understand, I completely understand. But at the same time, you can lock it if you want to. But this, I made it so it only locks that compartment. The rest of them are hidden buttons. So um, you could just have it without being locked to that stage where all you have to do is push that lever, hope you don't lose the wing in the action, and uh, open it like that. Or you could have it locked. The rest of them are on hidden buttons. So right here, there's a hidden button. It's just right flush with the edge under here. If you push that, that'll open up your whiskey drawer. I've got America bourbon in there. America bourbon whiskey. You got your flight of uh, shots. That'll actually come out too if you want it to. So you can set it out on the table and fill it up. Um, I've got the resin as the bottom of the drawer in there just for um, and then over here, I've got, so there's a compartment under here, but it won't open unless you pull it out a little bit. It's got these little ledges that go into there that catch. So that'll open up. You got a compartment here you could put some storage in. You got another compartment here with the gun foam in there. And then, let's see, around here, there's another button up underneath here. It's a little lever. Same type of button. Um, same as the other side. It's just you have to know where it's at, otherwise you won't be able to get to it. Push that. That opens up that one. This one, I added a little photo album book. Because when he goes down and dives, he takes a lot of really cool pictures. And so you'll be able to put some of his diving pictures in there. I've got resin as the bottom. Um, and then around the edge here, I've got a little drawer, a little hidden compartment. And there's more. And there's more. <laughs> got this knife I built. I made a video of building this knife too. It's on YouTube somewhere. You got the resin in all the bottoms. Resins in all the bottoms. And then, let's see. Right here you got another compartment. Again, it won't open up unless you pull it forward a little bit. Flip it open. You got your uh, poker set. I made it so that this tray comes out. So you can... Shut everything up, have a game up on top, um, and then put it back in. And these go up to like 500, so I think there's 500 chips. And uh, yeah, really nice set of paper chips. And then underneath that, got another compartment. It's about eight inches deep. It's about 16 inches by maybe 18 inches long. And underneath all of that um, I added a drawer that is four foot wide or four foot long by 18 inches wide and three inches deep you have to push both buttons at the same time to get it to open if you only push one it won't unlock it so you have to push both of them that opens up that drawer you got your gun foam in there and uh, yeah so that is the the American style diver's table. Um, and then I had another one right here. This is going to the other side of the country. A little bit different theme. It's got the flower in the center. 
it's got cats here. Uh, same lever underneath, pops that open or pops that up. Turn that, opens that compartment. Or you can turn it and lock the whole thing right there. I didn't have it locked, but and I always like got sawdust in there because there's always sawdust on everything in the shop. Um, and these drawers, I put purple and blue insert on the resin. And I really like how that pops. It looks like a galaxy or something like that. Yeah, that's pretty cool. You've got your poker set on this side. The tray obviously comes out. I don't have the poker chips in there and yet. what kind of wood was this? This is African mahogany as well, but it's got the ebony stain instead of the red mahogany stain. And honestly, I sort of like it better. I love the dark wood look. Obviously, I love the light wood look too, but um, I've always been a fan of dark wood. So, and then let's see, there's same compartments as that one. They're just in the first. Does this one have the right or the long? Oh yeah, it does. The long compartment on the other side. It's on this side. Same, same, just same, opposite. Same, same, but opposite. And these ones are both already sold, but I do have this one over here. That is the, this is the prototype table that I built to show the clients what those were sort of going to look like. This is made out of cherry wood. It's got... And it initially had the British flag, right? Right. It had the British flag. I put that in there because the queen had just died. So I just literally got a piece of plywood and painted it, threw it in there like that. But I'm trying to decide how to finish it whether I should do it military or whether I should do it um, service member or something, you know what I mean? I don't quite know. Um, so if you have any ideas, let me know. I was thinking possibly doing military or doing pirate, like having like a really cool skull here with the crossbones and whatnot, and then make it like... I think it would be cool to have a bunch of cool butterflies in there. <laughs> I do, I think it would be awesome. Dude, I love butterflies. I was going to put something like this in there, but then I found out that this is like copyrighted, so I can't really do that. The America table, but so I won't do that, but yeah, I need to finish this and I'm like 99% done. All I have to do is do the crest here. I got to do the centerpiece. Obviously, that's not the English flag, even though I think it looks badass. And um, it's all got all the same compartments. I don't have resin in these ones yet. I just have a cloth in there. Um, but I like how it looks. So, yeah. Cool. Oh, and then those ones are gonna be sort of more, they're the same style, I, I built six of them. One of them I already checked out, but the Texas table. They're the same style, but I'm gonna have these ones be a little bit more mystery escape. There's gonna be puzzles around it. There's gonna be things you have to solve to get it open up. There's gonna be chess boards in the center that flip over and then there's gonna be a backgammon game on one side, chessboard on one side. Cool little dragon shield. Cool little dragon shield. But yeah, we're getting there. So any yeah. ideas you have for the former England table for the centerpiece or for the, the crest or for the pocket inserts or whatever, uh, please let me know in the comments. And uh, All right, so you were, we were talking about some nightstands and some uh, mat mantles with some hidden oh, good yeah. So. I've had a lot of people reach out and they're wanting nightstands. I'm going to be doing a batch of those here soon. They're the nightstands. I think the last nightstands we had had like six or seven compartments in them. Um, I think I'm going to make them a little bit more simple with maybe two hidden compartments. And then one of the hidden compartments having a um, plug and stuff in it. Maybe it also has like a light, like a lamp or something on top. Um, I have some ideas for that, but yeah, I am going to be getting back to those and probably be doing maybe 10 or 15 of those. As soon as these go out this weekend, this one's going out this weekend, this one's going out in two weeks, I'll have a little bit more room in the shop and then I can finish that one pretty quick and uh, start building some, some cool stuff, okay. some more cool stuff. And that guy's coming to pick up his diver one? Yeah, he's coming to pick up that one. She's actually coming to pick up that one as well. Oh, really? Yeah, I don't have to worry about shipping them, which is 
awesome because usually shipping is about a thousand bucks. It's a monster to get them packed up and put in boxes. Okay. Okay. That's all I know. That's all I know. Thanks for watching my videos. Let me know what you think on that table, what I should put in there. And I appreciate it.